So someone wrote in and told me that you'd like to see something like a daily essentials um, and I thought that was a great idea and especially with my dear friend Anjali Vyas here. Uh, well, is Anjali Vyas now? Yes. That you're married. <laughs> did we mention that? Well, I think you already did, so it's okay. <laughs> Oops. Uh, unavailable. Okay, so Anjali here volunteered to be a part of my uh, little essentials uh, show. You suggested it, it should be a five daily essentials yeah. for, for makeup. I mean, I like five as a number, so. Uh, but I thought, why not six? I mean, my handbag's big enough. Your handbag's big, and all of you girls travel with a big <laughs> bag, so fit one extra thing in there without grumbling or complaining like you normally do. Oops, didn't say that. <laughs> but, so this is going to be a quick six essentials for the girl, the modern girl that travels and is about town, really. We can call it the girl about town. Me. I'm the okay. girl about town. The girl about town, five <laughs> daily essentials. Here we go. Now, starting with concealer, this is our number one. one. Concealer, this is in the shade Biscuit by NARS. It's a creamy concealer. I'm just going to use it on the inner corners of the eyes. Anjali has come in with a BB cream. Uh, she has reasonably nice skin. It's got a nice tan. Uh, she's wearing a BB cream, so that's already moisturizer, concealer. I mean, moisturizer, a little bit of concealer and a little bit of sunscreen in it. But we're going to throw on some full coverage concealer just to cover a little bit of the circles that we have here. These wonderful, beautiful, deep, uh, intensely beautiful circles. Thanks for that. <laughs> Anjali is actually a really dear friend of mine, but uh, she's always traveling. She is a girl about town. Um, and your where's home to you? Well, I know now Bombay is home. Bombay is home, but where's home? You feel at home in Bombay, don't you? Or you feel like a, a traveler still? Like, what do you? I feel at home in Bombay. Yeah. I think now I've been here for four years, so I've got enough friends. I've built a family here. Yeah. I've got weekly dinners with friends. I'm mm -hmm. very comfortable. Mm -hmm. But yeah. home is essentially UK. England. Yeah. Uh, Leicester. Leicester, it is. Yes, I, I'm sure. It's not Leicester. No, not Leicester. Leicester nahi hai. It's Leicester. Leicester is Leicester. Leicester better. She's a good Jew. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, the funny thing is, all the good Jews in UK, they say, like, you know, all the English people say, in it, in it, in it. Um, but the good Jews say, chin it, chin it. How many racial slurs is this person going to have? Ha, chin it. I love the good Jews. Okay, now, number <laughs> two. two. This is by Sephora. This one is in a deeper color. I talked about it, and this is called Dahlia like the black dahlia. I'm going to take a little bit of this gel, ask uh, Anjali to smile, put that right there, on there. I like um, a stain, like I said, because it looks like it's coming through makeup from inside of the skin. It looks really healthy, looks like you've been pinched, unlike blusher that sits on top. This gets eaten up and it gets, it's not too smooth, you know, because it, it stains different parts of the skin differently. So I like using stain as blush, right on the apples with the cheeks and then blending onto the air hostess part, which is the cheekbone. It, <laughs> they tend to put it on the cheekbone. But... The air hostess part? I've never yeah. heard that before. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I see, you I... can see. It's kind of lovely. I didn't know I had air hostess parts. So. <laughs> well, there are a few parts. <laughs> I'll bet. I've seen your parts. During your wedding? Yeah, you have. Yes. <laughs> Good with my makeup for my wedding. It's wonderful. Yeah. Let's flash them a picture right now. Isn't that lovely? She looked great. You look great. It was in Rishikesh, up there, and there were very few people at the wedding. It was so intimate 65 and lovely. People. 65 people. But you made me feel like so natural when I got married. I didn't feel... And we wore quite a lot. There was a lot of makeup, but it was still natural yeah. and nice. Yeah, and it right? lasted the whole day. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Yay. It was great. And we, then we, after the wedding, we... Uh, okay, so I'm putting the stain onto the lips, right there like that. Very, with my finger itself, you don't, don't overthink it, don't bother about neatness. I mean, you're somebody that travels, you look beautiful because you're beautiful from the inside, so don't care for perfection. And No, so at Anjali's wedding, then we went uh, into the Ganges, we went river rafting, and we all jumped into the, what was it called, what's it called, the river, the Ganga. It was, it was freezing. Yeah. You jumped in. I, I didn't would, think I would. You were nearly going to come, and then we saw him, and we were like, help me, you have to come. Oh my God, and then the first, <laughs> when, when we went up to the boats, and we saw all these costumes lined up, then I, I, I insisted on having a matching, um, what is it called, helmet with my... With like the waterproof. Yeah, they had blue and yellow in it and it looks so mismatched if I had one or the other. I wanted a matching set. Fashionable, as always. That's, well, you know, you have to just set trends, darling. <laughs> and then the water was so cold and I don't know how to swim. You don't? No, I'm quite useless. I can't swim and I can't uh, drive. Those are the two things about me that I... 
Yeah. I mean, for swimming before you get into a raging river is quite. <laughs> I had a life jacket, so it's yeah. fine. Okay. Nam nam nam. Nam nam nam. Okay. You know, if you have beetroot, that stains the lip for a long time, and that's a great similar color. So if you have a piece of beetroot from a salad, you should just rub that on your lips. It lasts for very long. Natural. Now moving to number three. Now this is mascara. I'm using Maybelline's Colossal Volume Express. You can use any lip mascara, just make sure you're looking down. And wiggle and pull. Now the next thing, optional, is a brown eye pencil. You do not have to have a black, which can be hard, which can be far too evening, far too uh, dark. But you want to keep it simple, use a brown pencil. This is a Kajal, it's by Bourjois, and it's called Brun Delicia. And it's cool, so you can use it inside and outside. I'm going to start uh, with it, using it on the top, just very randomly. I'm not bothered about neatness here. Okay, like that. So that, now I'm taking that, a Q-tip, which everybody has when you're traveling. I'm just going to rub the outside of it, rolling it sideways, just going to rub that, just the top, blending, onto the eyelid. So we don't have any hard lines, you see? Okay, yeah, that's great. Now, number five. This is a lipstick again by the Color Show Maybelline in number 209, Red Velvet. We all like our red velvet cupcakes. And so, let's see if that cupcake looks great on Anjali's lip. Now, I would wear this in the day. If you're going out uh, to maybe a city like New York, you're going in, even Bombay, like Bombay definitely. even Bombay, um, very, very urban cities, modern. Uh, you want to wear a red lip, whether it's in the day or the night, preferably the night, I suppose more dressy, then I'd pull out a deep red like this. And especially when you're, color, you're a brown, beautiful brown skin like this, it can take these blue reds quite naturally. So I'm going to take this and just... But, so we're down with five. What would be the next thing? Okay, so I, I know I wanted six things, but I could only... These are Wait, the five. How about maybe like a bronzer? for the evening if you wanted to make it more of a heavier look? Well, that's five essentials, which is more than enough. This one is by Tom Ford. Um, I know it's expensive, but ladies that travel often do have the money. <laughs> um, and this is called Savage, but you could essentially use any other bronzer. This one's a bronzer with a bit of a color. It's got a beautiful, deep, rich berry color to it. So I'm going to just pick that, smile, and put that right on the cheek, there. Wow, okay, it's a great color. You have your six, six daily essentials. So I hope you guys like this look. Anjali, you want to take a look at it and tell us what yes. you like? Oh, wow. Mm. It's nice, isn't it? Simple. Yeah, I don't think I could ever pull anything like this off, but it seems so easy. Yeah. It's amazing. And this is Simple. definitely what I would do in the evening. Because mm -hmm. I would just put a color on and I feel like I'm done instead of putting yeah. makeup on again. OK, so I've stepped in frame again. This is something I forgot to mention. Anjali's clothes are all from her own, uh, well, her brand called yeah. Saloon Vintage. Are you on Instagram? Yes, we are. Uh, it's at Saloon Vintage. I just, that was easy. <laughs> um, and no, but the reason I say I mention is because the dress she's wearing is truly vintage. Um, you wouldn't normally think of pairing it the way she does, uh, you know, with a beautiful sweater. Look at the detail. So it's great. And I, I love the fact that she wears these rings and it all falls into place so beautifully. Flash your hands, let's see what you got, got on jewellery wise. Quite There's a tribal. lot. Yeah. I like to wear a lot of tribal jewellery and like up to my elbows or like my shoulders. Yeah, all that's time. great. So the way we work is we have a monthly pop-up okay. and uh, we also sell by appointments and we have an Instagram feed. So it's a lot of brand building, history, history of clothing and vintage yeah. items. Um, and not frighteningly expensive. Not frighteningly expensive, no, incredibly accessible for yeah. people. There you go. So write in to Saloon Vintage on Instagram and um, yeah, check her style out. Exit me. that in 33 years I'd never been able to act on an impulse in a public space like for example if you're with your girlfriend or somebody that you like and you're looking into each other's eyes and you know in that moment you feel an impulse to either kiss or hold or whatever in that moment I realized that I just never acted on that impulse